Hey friends, welcome. Uh, today we are again going to discuss the third order integration rate equation, wherein two molecules are identical and third one is different. So basically, we know that for a third order reaction, there is a need of three molecules. And in last class, we have seen that the condition was where A was not equal to B was not equal to C. Over here, we will have only two types of molecules and type of molecule there are two molecules of type A and only one molecule of type B so suppose if we consider the reaction then we will have 2A plus B it gives our product so suppose we have this type of condition where we have two molecules of a reactant and one molecule of a second reactant then the reaction will also be a third order wherein the reaction is second order with respect to the concentration of molecule A and first order with respect to the concentration of molecule B and hence the net rate will be a third order reaction. So suppose again if we consider that the concentration at time t is equal to 0 is A A and sorry A this is B and the concentration of the product is 0 and suppose if we consider that at any time t certain amount of product is formed so the concentration will be a minus 2x this will be b minus x and x will be the concentration of the product and hence the rate of the reaction is given by as we all know that dx by dt is equal to k into it is we can say that a square into b wherein it is second order with respect to the concentration of a and first order with respect to the concentration of B and hence we can write K into K into A minus 2x square into B minus x and further if we rearrange this representation uh, we will have dx upon A minus 2x into B minus x and that is equal to k dt okay now further we will simplify this particular representation and it is more of a mathematics than chemistry so over here the steps involved in solving this particular relation is more of a mathematics as compared to the chemistry and we will first separate this particular term in the form of its partial fractions that means to suppose we have 1 upon a minus 2x into b minus x that is equal to we will sub, uh, separate in, into partial form wherein we have px plus q will be equal to a minus 2x square plus z upon b minus x okay so this particular representation is separated in this particular form as we have also seen in last class we are separating in form of the partial fractions and then we will solve this particular term it is square over here okay it is square over here so in order to solve this we will multiply the numerators on left hand side and right hand side by a minus 2x square b minus x and hence this term will become 1 and that will be equal to px plus q into b minus x plus z into a minus 2x square so this will be the terms and further when we simplify this we will have px b minus px square plus q b minus q x plus now this a minus b whole square so it will be a square minus 2 a b plus b square and hence this is z so we will have z square minus 4 e x z plus 4 x square okay so these are this will be the terms and further we will take all the terms with x square together all the terms with x together and remaining terms will be taken together so first if we take all the terms with x square together then we have two terms that is okay sorry this will be z okay along so we have this particular term and this particular term so we will have 4 x square minus p sorry we will have 4 z minus p x square so these are the terms with x square now we will take all the terms with x so we have 1 2 and 3 terms with x and hence we will have p b minus q minus 4 a z these are the terms with x and the remaining terms are 
qb and z a square so we'll have plus qb plus z a square so these are the terms and this is our expression so we'll have one is equal to now we will equate the coefficients equating the coefficient that means x square will from right hand side will be equated to x square from left hand side x from right hand side will be equated to x from left hand side and all the constants will be equated so as we don't have x square here we just consider that it is x square into 0 plus x into 0 plus 1 so these are the terms so we will x square or the coefficient of x square will be equated to 0 the coefficient of x will also be equated to 0 and all these terms will be equated to 1 okay so we will have 4z minus p so that will be equal to 0 and hence uh, we can write 4z is equal to p and the second term that is pb minus q minus 4z a that is also equal to 0 and the third term that is we have qb plus z a square that is equal to 1 so we can rearrange this in the form of q so we will have q is equal to 1 minus z a square upon b okay now this value of q we can substitute it over here and similarly the value of p is equal to 4z can be substituted over here and we can simplify to get the value of z so uh, we will have 4zb minus of 1 minus z a square upon b minus 4z a that is equal to 0 and further when we simplify it we can multiply it by b so we'll have 4z b square minus 1 plus z a square minus 4 a b z and that is equal to 0 this one i can take on right hand side and further z can be taken common from all the four terms so we will have z into 4 b square plus a square minus 4 a b that is equal to 1 so this is in the form of 2 b minus a whole square okay and hence we can write z into 2b minus a whole square that is equal to 1 and hence z will be equal to 1 upon 2b minus a whole square so we have now the value of z we have the value of p and we have the value of q okay so all these values we can substitute in our this particular expression okay we have the value of p that is 4z also we know the value of z so we have the value of q that is 1 minus z a square by b and again we have the value of z so that also can be substituted and also we have the value of z so all these values of p q and z can be substituted in this particular representation and then it can be integrated okay so we had integration 0 to x px minus sorry px plus q upon a minus 2x square dx plus integration 0 to x z upon b minus x dx and that is equal to k integration 0 to t dt okay so this is the expression that we have and now we have the value of p q and z so the values of p q and z will be substituted in this particular representation and hence we will have integration 0 to x value of p is 4 z and value of z is 1 upon 2 b minus a square so this will become 4x upon 2b minus a square plus value of q is 1 minus z a square by b and then we will substitute z. So the value of q will be 4 into b minus a upon a minus 2x square upon a minus 2x sorry this is 2b minus a square and denominator is a minus 2x square plus okay into dx into dx plus we'll have integration of 0 to x and z we know it is 1 upon 2b minus a whole square upon b minus x dx plus sorry is equal to 
k integration 0 copy dt so this is our representation and further we can simplify this representation by separating both these terms and again this denominator will go in the denominator and our representation will be integration 0 to x 4x upon 2b minus a square into a minus 2x square dx plus integration 0 to x 4 b minus a upon 2b minus a square into a minus 2x square plus we have integration 0 to x dx upon both these terms okay and that is equal to k integration 0 to t dt okay so this will be the representation and further we will multiply both hand sides by 2b minus a square so all the terms that is 2b minus a square or we can do 2b minus a square can be taken common from all these three terms and then it will go into multiplication so our representation will take the form 0 to x 4x upon a minus 2x square plus integration 0 to x 4 b minus a upon a minus 2x square and plus integration 0 to x dx upon b minus x that is equal to we will have 2b minus a square k integration dt so this will be the representation now in order to solve this particular representation uh, we need to individually solve all these three integrations and I will be putting a link in the description in where wherein I have in detail shown all these integrations. Okay, the first integration can be solved by taking a minus 2x is equal to theta. So x will be equal to a minus theta by 2. And further, when x is equal to 0, theta will be equal to a. And for x, we will have theta will be equal to a minus 2x so in place of x we can substitute a minus theta by 2 and similarly for dx we will have minus d theta by 2 because for dx a is 0 and then it is constant so it will be 0 and then we will have minus d theta by 2 so for dx over here sorry i just forgot to write dx so for dx we can write it as minus d theta by 2 and all these values we can substitute it over here and then we can simplify this particular integration talking about the second integration b minus a term is common okay and b minus a term can be taken outside and hence we are left with 4 dx okay so 4 dx uh, can be solved by taking that is uh, suppose we have minus 2 differentiation of a minus 2x so this will become differentiation of a constant is 0 and this will become 4 dx okay so in place of 4 dx we can substitute minus 2 times differentiation of a minus 2x and then solve it and in order to solve the third integration dx i can write it as differentiation of dx or minus dx can be written as differentiation of minus of dx so we know that differentiation of a constant is 0 and differentiation or it will become minus dx so minus dx can be substituted by differentiation of b minus x and hence further this differentiation or sorry further this integration can be solved and i am taking direct solution of all the three integrations and the detail is again i am telling it is i have given the detailed solution of all these three integration in the link in the description so the solution of all these three integration will be the first integration will be ln a minus 2x by a plus 2 ax by a into a minus 2x so this the solution for for in first integration we will get ln a minus 2x by a plus 2x by a minus 2x we can multiply by a in order to uh, get our answer uh, easily so i am multiplying and dividing by a in this particular term solution for the second integration term is uh, we will have 4x into b minus a upon a into a minus 2x plus the solution for third integration is ln of b upon b minus x and that is equal to we will have 2b minus a 
square k t so this is the solution of this particular integration now we just need to simplify or now we just need to simplify this particular representation and again we know that ln of addition is a multiplication function so we can write ln of b into a minus 2x upon we will have a into b minus x plus when we simplify both this this will be 4xb minus 4 ax and plus 2ax so uh, we can take 2x again will be taken common out and we will have 2b minus a upon and the denominator is common so a into a minus 2a and that is equal to 2b minus a square into kt and further we can take this term and t in the denominator on the left hand side and hence we will have k is equal to 1 upon 2b minus a square into t into into we will have ln of b into a minus 2x upon a into b minus x plus 2x into 2b minus a upon a into a minus 2x so this is the integral equation for the third order reaction where we have two molecules or where we have two identical molecules and third molecule is different so where the concentration of molecule a is two times or where we can say that the rate of the reaction is second order with respect to the concentration of molecule a and it is first order with respect to the concentration of the molecule b so it is a bit tedious and mathematical expression but many a times it is also asking csir net hope the derivation was clear thank you very much